Okay, so I've got this um, comment on the Phantom Dostridge mod video that I did recently, and this guy was having a bit of an issue uh, showing up grass textures and how to edit them on a particular map that he'd chosen to play. So I thought I'd have a look and see if it was something I could fix, and I was going to bring you guys along, and then hopefully get something out of it. Thanks. Hello and welcome back to Farmer Simulator and Giant Simulator Tutorial. I want to show you um, something that I just found out, uh, which seems to have been around for some time, but just didn't realise it. There is a new version of Giants Editor. The version that I have been using and has worked, worked perfectly fine is version 6.0.3, but it would appear since January. <laughs> Can you believe that? There has been a new version, 6.0.5. This is from fsuk.com, and there are some changes to how this can help with different size maps and various bits and pieces there's the uh, basically the change log for the new version there I'm not going to go through that too much um, to get this there is a link on this particular website on FSUK there's the actual address there if you wish to go to this um, post but basically you're going to go to the giant center to develop a network website you will need to register um, it is free. Once you've done this, you can then go into downloads and then download the new version. You may be able to find it from other places, but this is the place I would definitely recommend to get it from. Okay, so we're going to close this. Actually, I'll leave that open in the background just in case you. I want to come back to that later, but um, actually, no, I'm going, to, I'm going to shut it down. Right, I've already downloaded this map, but I wanted to just show it to you. This is a map that I've been asked to look at, um, and it is based on the new Giants editor version. So if you actually wish to make any changes for personal use um, on this map, you will need to get the new version of Giants editor, version 6.0.5. If you try and open it with the older version, any older version, you may find that um, certain textures won't be displayed or may freak out on screen and do all sorts of weird things. So this is the map. I've not played on this map at all, um, just somebody's asked me to have a look at it because they're trying to do a small edit to the map and when they open it in Giant Serta, I'm assuming they are still using an older version, so if they are then that particular person or persons will need to upgrade to the newer version to get this to um, show up correctly in Giant Serta and then be able to edit it correctly. Other than that, I'm not really that interested in this map, just the fact that I've been asked to have a look and see why it can't be, um, or why they're having difficulty in editing it, that's it really. So I just wanted to bring this to you and show you that there is a new version of Giant Serta and how we go about getting into that and such and such. But there it is, there's the, again, the address there. I probably won't bother with a link, you can just copy that or whatever. Uh, like I said, I'm not particularly that interested in this map myself, just the fact that it's new and it's... Um, going to require the new version giant says to do anything with but anyway moving on so I've already downloaded it as you can see here I've got the zip there now this part of it was perfectly fine I'll extract that using WinRAR and it extracts a new folder creates a new folder and puts it on my desktop here no problem whatsoever now because there this is quite a lengthy um, file or folder name and when you then try and come into your Canadian Prairies version 10 etc etc I found that using WinRAR and I am using a little bit of an older version I must admit so a new version of WinRAR uh, may not have the same issues but um, it's one that I have registered and I don't particularly want to pay for it again it does work perfectly fine I know it's not that expensive but it has worked perfectly fine in the past so I'm just going to stick with it for now at least until there's some major problems with it but if I try to extract this within this folder, even though it's on my desktop, and I will show you, if I try to extract it now, it will start to do its thing, and it will show up perfectly fine. And at some point, you get this. And basically, it's because the file path is too long, because it's got all... It's just... Well, it's just too long. It's over 260 characters. Like I say, the newer version of WinRAR may not have this problem, and they may have fixed this in a newer version, so... If you do have a newer version, then go with that. That's perfectly fine. But for me, this is absolutely useless. So I'm going to stop that and delete that folder. 
and then what I'm going to do to overcome it is to actually it's deleted that yes what I'm going to do is actually move the Canadian Prairies folder or the zip onto my desktop make a copy of it get rid of that um, let's get rid of that I don't know don't want that anymore for now okay so what I've done is I've put that onto there this is just the actual folder for the um, map itself what I'm going to do is just rename it to shorten that length down you may have to do the same thing like I say if you're using an older version like myself of WinRAR if you're using 7-zip or something like that you may not have this issue but I'll just bring it to your attention so if you try to unzip the um, map and you get all those same errors like I've just had this is a workaround that I've found works for me so by shortening that name there of the zip it will now extract perfectly fine so just bringing you know giving you a bit of a heads up there if you're going to try and edit this map um, and have a play around with it or even if you just want to open it up and have a look and see what's in the folder or whatever then this is something you may need to do to extract it correctly so that you don't get that error or those that list of errors and then have missing files and textures and good, you know, all sorts of different things but that's that's the way I've found works for me so that's what I'm going to do okay so now that I've extracted this I could or what I've done in the past I'll just open it up go into the map folder here double click on the map i3d and we're in but that's not quite so easy um, because there seems to be something with the, the way that these uh, newer or the newer version of Giant Senator, or it could be just the fact that this is a 16 times map. Uh, if you had a four times map or smaller, you may not have to do this. But if you actually open this up, once you've extracted it, you'll see there's actually a README text in here. And I would recommend to actually open this up in Notepad++ uh, just because it makes it somewhat easier to copy stuff over here when, when we get to that part later on. But definitely open this up and read it, whatever you choose to open it up with uh, like I say notepad plus plus is what I'm going to use could use notepad or whatever but in here it will give you certain instructions um, and if I open this up I'll show you what I mean and it actually says that this is a blank 16 times map that I created um, map have all based items installed and crops and textures working properly there are only a few edition of a 16 times map for FS15 on the internet but every one I've tried uh, has false falses and errors inside this may be translated from a different language I'm not sure uh, so it's a bit weird in the way it reads <clears throat> excuse me so it is map 16 times finally working shaders and sample mod map lure fires also corrected according to Giants preferences following the new update 1.4.2 and new Giants editor 6.0.5 you must be aware of this that map will only work with the latest update um, and only with the newest giant editor uh, there are a few things also you should do before you can edit the map and this is where it gets a bit technical but it's relatively straightforward so to actually work with this map you need to create a script and what it's saying here is to open giants editor and then click on scripts and create new script okay so now what I'm going to do is open up giants editor session here and create the new script so I'll go into here and I need to then go into scripts and create new script give it a name so we'll just call it um, let's call it map 16x create and this is what you get you can then go in and change all your bits and pieces in here if you want to <clears throat> excuse me give it a description and whatever else I'm not going to do any of that it's not really required because we're just running this script so that we can work with Giants Editor that's it won't make any difference to the map itself at all so I'm going to copy this and this is why I use notepad plus plus not notepad or anything else because it makes it so much easier to just copy stuff over like this so I'm just going to copy that over bring it into my new script on line 5 and done then I'll save and then I'm going to execute that script so it runs the script and then close that down now that I'm into giant editor here again I can then open the map so if I go into file open go into the new map even though it's slightly different to the 
name is not Canadian Prairies, I've, as we did before, or I showed you before, I've shortened the name of it so it would extract correctly. So I'm going to go into this, into Map, scroll down to the Map I3D and double click it. And then it will take a little while, but uh, hopefully if all works as it's supposed to, the map will then open up. And there we go. So the map has now opened up in Giant Serta perfectly fine. And you can then have a look around, navigate the, the, the map and everything else. Um, all good. And one of the things that the uh, was brought to my attention uh, and reason for this really was because the person trying to do this was opening it up in Giant Serta. Again, like I say, may have an older version which wouldn't work properly, I'm guessing, which is you know why this uh, whole video is being made because the um, system wouldn't work with the older version of Giant Serta. So one of the things he was having issues with was the grass textures weren't showing up correctly. He's quite right, when I tried to open this up in the older version, 6.0.3, it would not show the grass textures. Actually, it wouldn't show quite a lot of things, to be fair. Um, but as you can see, by opening it in the new version of Giant Serta and creating our script and then running the script, we now have grass textures and everything else that we require to then have a play around with this map and edit it if we choose to for our own purposes. I can't stress that enough. It is not to be played around with and then re-uploaded without the original creator's permission. So please be aware of that. Okay, I just want to bring this to your attention as well while we're here. There are various errors in this particular map. Not massive errors, but there is quite a list here. <clears throat> Basically, to just give you an idea of what this means, if you actually read what it says over here, the warning itself, it says... Loading file with invalid case. You might think, oh my god, panic mode. Basically what this is referring to is that somewhere within the line of text here, the file path file name, there is a lowercase or uppercase letter where there should be the opposite. Now the only way you're going to fix that is to go into the Map by 3D itself in Notepad++, find which is incorrect and then correct it. Wouldn't worry about it too much, it shouldn't affect the map itself um, and how it runs. Just means that the system has to work a little bit harder, I guess, to navigate and um, work out the correct map and all that. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, I just wanted to show it to you. You could go in and adjust that. I have done it myself on other maps that have had the same thing. Um, but uh, I know other people are playing on those said maps without any issues, so I would imagine this would be very similar. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, can adjust it if you feel you need to, but like I say, not that important. Um, now, I found all of this out by actually opening the map in the older version of Giant Serta, having a look over in the Cinegraph, and obviously it does state there that you will require Giant Serta 6.0.5 to edit, and it then says, follow the readme, instructions so that exact that is exactly what I have done I've not edited the map not played around with it like I said I'm not going to play on this map at least not yet I've got other things that I'm playing on at the moment um, so I may come back to it at some point again this might be something that you would probably get into on a server dedicated server with you know a few different people but um, nice looking map bit flat but, you know, that's fine. Okay, I think we're done, really. Um, I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention that, you know, anybody who's having a play around with Giant Serta and perhaps creating maps, editing maps, again, like I say, for personal use, um, if it's not your own map to start with and you haven't got permission to upload it, then please don't. Respect the modders. So... Yeah, this is really, I just wanted to show this to you. New version of Giant Serta. New way of working with maps, especially 16 times maps. 
Um, as I said before, if this was a smaller map, four times or less, you may not have so many issues. You may not need to create the script. Um, as it does say in the instructions here, this is a 16 times map. And that's what this is probably all about here. Just so that Giant Soda can understand what's going on with that, with that size of map. But, hope this helps, you know. Yeah, thanks very much. Catch you next time.